camp is about camp, not cancer. Obviously, it's like what brought a lot of people here, but it's the last thing on anyone's mind. One of the worst things cancer does is like it isolates you, and Sunrise brings you to a world of everyone can relate. You could be yourself, and people have a similar story as you. I feel like everybody's really close here, and like they don't judge you however you are. How they treat you all the same, and all the people are really nice, and they understand what you're going through. We first started the first camp in 2006. We were really looking to just create a place where kids with cancer could have a good summer. We're not researchers, we're not doctors. All we try to do is to give them back what was taken away, which is a normal childhood, where they can learn all the things that kids are supposed to learn. They will learn to make a friend, they will learn to compromise, they will learn to share. This is all of the things that we need to grow into adulthood. We had an older sister. During the first year, I came alone because she was doing a lot of treatment. Your family's going through all of this medical stress, and you're kind of just thinking, like, life is moving too fast. And then all of a sudden, you get to this camp, and then things are just, like, in this perfect moment of summer. And especially, like, as a kid, it just helps you for a moment, just, like, feel like everything is the same again. Summer has always been there for all of us over the years, especially um, the following year my sister had passed. You just feel like everyone's there for you. When you're in the hospital, you can't really go outside. There's not like a lot of fresh air. So running around was definitely like a big feeling. Here you feel like, oh, I can do whatever I want. This is nice. I'm not like in one spot because I have to be. We began doing year-round programming as well. On Sundays and on school holidays, the kids could get together and rekindle those friendships. In addition to that, we put together a program called Sunrise on Wheels. We take camp, we stuff it into this big tie-dye trunk, and it changes their experience in the hospital. We're really making a tremendous difference in their lives. We have children from every economic background, of every skin color, of every language. They all come together here and everything changes for them. They learn about each other, they learn about the world in a very different way. In our camps in Israel, our camps are populated by Jewish Israelis, by Arab Israelis. They speak different languages. They may be on other sides of the political spectrum. But when they come into camp, they have a common cause, and that's to give these kids the best time that they possibly can. There are extensive expenses that come about as a result of a child having cancer. And so for us, it was critical not to just be able to offer these services, but to be able to offer them free of charge as well. We need to keep growing because there's so many kids going through this horrible disease. They should be able to come here and feel like they can relieve their pain and just be happy. Coming here is huge in terms of fighting cancer. When I see these kids and these counselors get off the buses, they all bring joy. You're definitely doing something for my day and, and those are the gifts that the kids give to us. We all have different perspectives, but I think that we all have the same feelings. All of us would say that this is the most magical, wonderful, warm place in the world where you just have your family, and we get to be our best selves here. It's something beyond anything we imagine. It's actually a family. Sunrise is a family to me. Sunrise is family. I like coming here. I like having you here.